Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome. I am the Crypto Crow. We're going to be talking a little bit about NAMI wallet, one of my favorite Cardano wallets, and the latest as to what's going on uh, as it relates to NAMI. We're going to be talking about Alvera protocol, which you might be interested in. Uh, and uh, so we're going to dive in a little bit as to what's happening. I'm still currently in a long trade on fair desk and uh it's you know it's down about a 90 bucks right now not a significant deal it was down much more as these tighten as these um <clears throat> moving averages tighten on price uh it's just setting basically a a, a kind of a a new level of of support uh, as it relates to car, or, um, Bitcoin's price as we move forward. Currently trading at sixty two thousand eight sixty one, and uh, you know I'm pretty bullish at this point. I, I I we might get a little bit of a dip uh, at the having or maybe just before it, but for right now it seems like the price is just wanting to continue moving up. Obviously, I believe the big catalyst to that is the big uh, Bitcoin ETFs and things that are popping. So um, Crow Trader is my Crow trader bot is doing very very well um i've been trading with a a budget of about twenty five hundred dollars over one two three four five six seven pairs and i'm up uh, 269 dollars in profit right now on my trades i'll probably be showing it uh, because i run it on a different computer so i can't just pull in the the, the feed of it um but i will i do post some screenshots on twitter uh some updates but it's doing really well 17 trades uh as of e 17 trades yesterday so i made about 26 bucks on 17 trades yesterday um, and ultimately two, about $270 at over the last 90 trades. So <clears throat> it's pretty good. I'm using a 10 tier DCA on the bot. I'm running just the Bollinger band strategies right now and, uh, pretty much out of the box. So I I'm basically running these to show what's capable with just the bot as it sits. You, you pick a pair, you pick a time frame. I think I'm running five minutes on the majority of these. Some of them are one minute pairs, mo uh, one and five minute pairs, uh, 10 tier DCA, and it's just, it's pumping profit. And that's just what the bot does in a bull market. So I'm pretty happy about that. And, um, you know, listen, I, I, there's just not a lot of, uh, there's, there's not a lot holding the price back right now, other than it's the weekend and it's the retail market. And come Monday morning, tomorrow morning, I'm expecting to see uh, the price go up. But, you know, anything could happen. The opposite could be true. Now, let's move into Charles Hoskinson and Cardano's NAMI wallet because there were some issues happening recently um, that are being addressed now. So this is off of Charles' Twitter. I'm just coming up to speed on NAMI. We've put together a weekend team to investigate an issue involving NAMI's implementation of ADA handles. The one issue that has been identified is the delay in fetching ADA handles, whereby if users are typing in handles, i.e., dollar sign nft and then dollar sign nfts there is a delay in updating the destination from nft to nfts the team is disabling handles within nami as an immediate backstop to pre prevent this from occurring until we fully develop and test a solution the disabling code has been written and pushed to google and we are waiting on their approval which usually takes one to two hours uh this was posted uh i think it was yesterday or maybe maybe today but i think it was yesterday lace users are unaffected nami users take a break for a few hours while the team finishes the initial in investigation of the acquired code and temporarily disables the impacted f features I understand how frustrating these issues can be to those impacted. It's one of the reasons we bought NAMI so that we can migrate the great experience to a code base that is maintained using IOG's engineering standards. Unfortunately, this migration takes time and bugs like these could be lurking in the acquired code base. If you think you've been impacted, X isn't the medium to broadcast it. When we finish the initial investigation, we'll include a form that you can fill out so that we can examine each incident on a case-by-case -case basis. So far, this seems to have only impacted a few users. Here's a picture of Totoro 
to Toro to lighten the mood. So yeah, basically what was happening is people were sending transactions to ADA handles and um, some of those ADA handles or some of those transactions would be sent off to like JPEG store. Um, and, and so it was confusing for people and um, you know, but it doesn't look like it was a huge issue, but it was enough that, you know, people were taking notice and starting to talk about it on Twitter. And so they immediately looked into it. They're resolving it. And yeah, you know, I, I've always been a proponent of NAMI wallet i still like nami wallet things like this are known to happen especially with these um these weird handles and how they're they're dealt with not every nuance about some of these new technologies can be predicted so they're addressing it they're fixing it and i'm sure nami will be resolved and it, it may have already been resolved at this point so we'll just have to wait and 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 see but i'm sure probably by monday there'll be an additional announcement as it relates to that now this, ladies and gentlemen, is Alvera Protocol. Um, if you're not a fund manager, you might not be super into this, but if you are somebody that's trying to manage your own fund or your own accounts, there could be some potential here. I find this interesting. It is a paid a, a paid segment, um, but as I was going through this, I'm like, this is a pretty bright idea, uh, especially considering you know you basically, to manage the system and to be, to be able to utilize the system, you just have to hold um, like 5% of your total portfolio in um, Alvera token. So we're gonna dive into this a little bit. Um, this isn't gonna be a long segment, but the Alvera protocol is a decentralized platform for creating and managing tokenized baskets of funds, allowing users to hold multiple cross-chain assets in a single trackable basket. So it, it, it basically is going to enable people to manage what, I mean, ultimately I would consider just to be a portfolio. Um, but if you're a fund manager that you're, you're managing uh, assets for other people. Um, this would empower you to be able to do that uh, with a lot of information at your fingertips. Uh, it provides access to thousands of tokens from Uniswap and offers a marketplace for buying and selling fund management rights and revenue streams. That's pretty freaking interesting. The platform offers clear and comprehensive data about each fund, including profit loss, decentralized DAO status, underlying assets, and annual management revenue streams. So th this is definitely for a fund manager of some kind if you're managing assets for groups of people. I know in crypto, there are a lot of people that like to do these. Uh, I kind of consider them like little shadow ops. Like uh, they're, they're, they're these like private groups where, you know, they're trying to get allocations to new ICOs or new projects. And so there's somebody that kind of spearheads the effort to get access to these, whether it's because, you know, people aren't accredited or whatever. I'm not saying that that's what people are using this for, but just I know how the there are communities around different projects and tokens and so you know if there's a bunch of un unaccredited people then they'll like pull around and then they'll get um they'll get somebody that that ultimately can get access to these like pre-sale tokens and pre-sale things and then that person ultimately manages it um i don't know if that happens as much anymore uh but you know this could be something i guess that may be able to help people that are doing that um i i think it's just a different thing in different countries I, i'm not really 100 percent sure how that stuff works now but um alvarez protocol recognizes all erc bts tokens regardless of how they are created and maintains a public leaderboard of all bts managers so um you know check this out if you're interested it's alveraprotocol.io uh disclosure and link is definitely going to be in the description below so check that out users can stay updated with constant updates on their funds and others with access to data such as contribution activity marketplace listings and fund performance 5% of baskets must be Alva token. So if you're if you're going to create something within the system, you need to have your, you know, 5% of the each basket as Alva token and it's almost like um, you know, uh, like a gateway, you know, it unlocks the 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 system so that you're able to utilize that. Um the Alvera, the, the Alvera team has a strong financial background with experience in business management, derivatives training, wealth management, wealth management, public accounting, financial and tax advisory, and ETF creation. Um, so very, very interesting. It's in high demand, sold $2.4 million out on Tencent, and um, they're basically launching this on March 4th, 2 p.m. GMT in 2024. So check it out. 
out you you, you know if you're interested this is going to be launching by the time you watch this video uh you know uh, this is going to come out here probably within the next hour or so bookmark the website and um and check it out and this is going to be launching and kicking off tomorrow whether you're an individual or an institution, our unique solution empowers you to easily create, manage, and invest in on-chain funds only with Alvera. So that was a pretty cool paid segment. I definitely didn't mind doing. I love stuff like this, honestly. Anything that helps people manage portfolios, baskets of, of assets, um, anything that empowers people to like invest cleaner um, with more information at their fingertips, I think is a really cool thing. You can check out the team. and They're all docs. They're all right here on their website. Um, so, yeah. I don't know, man. I'm pretty, I think this is pretty cool. I might, I'm going to dive in. I might check it out and see what, 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 if maybe if they let me in, I don't know if they'll let me check this out without an actual account, uh, or without a whole bunch of Alvaro tokens. But if I can check it out, um, you know, if it's something that I could find some use for, I would definitely be willing to try it. Uh, so maybe you will like it too. And that is it for today, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you guys learned something. Uh, you know, I'm not worried about Naomi wallet. I think it's going to be just fine. And, um, yeah, hopefully you guys are having a great weekend and I definitely see you again very soon until then crow your coins.